Okay, good morning. We are in the first uh, step of the coffee process, and we are picking coffee. So here's my beans. We're starting the process. Hey guys, it's Michelle Spanos coming to you from the Sours for Fat Pastors coffee field here in Lampira, Honduras. And I am gonna pick a coffee bean right off of this coffee plant, and I'm gonna rip it open and show you what a coffee bean looks like fresh off the plant. So, we're gonna go ahead and grab one right off. And as you can see, it's got like some, some fleshy fruit on it. But when we open it up, ooh, this one has, has three beans in it. But here is the coffee bean that looks a little bit more familiar to us. We're picking the red ones. And I think we're doing pretty good. Yeah, if you went that fast, it'd just be all yeah. stems. <laughs> okay, Russell. But, you know, he's probably been doing this since he was four. Yeah. You know. ¿A los cuántos años comenzaste a cortar café, vos, Norla? A los diez. A los diez, okay, he says, he says ten. So ¿Y cuántos años tienes? Veinte. Veinte. Wow. He'll get out of work here at our farm some days. We're working by the day. And he'll go buy somebody else's farm where they're harvesting and just work for two hours. All right, we have a full bucket of coffee beans. And here we go. Oh, I just scaled that whole mountain. Nope. All, that All right, there we go. Spilled right up. Now we're going to take it to processing. Okay, so he's dumping the coffee beans into this processor. And then it's uh, taking the pulp off of it. So this red on the ground over here is the pulp that is coming off of the coffee. And then the white, let me see if I can point right, there's are the coffee beans. And he is pushing them down through like a screen. And um, the coffee beans, I don't know if you can see down, um, down below here, the coffee beans are down there and then they'll go on to their next step in the coffee process. They dry, you gotta let it sit out and sit Good out. Otherwise it boils. Then from that, you got to de it. There's another coat on it. Uh, then you have to have to de-husk it. That's one of the machines. So after the coffee has been pulped like we saw yesterday, or depulped, it then sits overnight and ferments all together. And then they wash it. And after they wash it, they bring it and they lay it out here. And he's raking it out and it needs four days to, um, to bake in the sun and dry out. And then after that, they go ahead and bring it down and they put it into a bag and then um, they wait for the price of coffee to be where it's profitable for. All right, and then every night he rakes it all together and then puts um, something on top of it, a tarp, so that it doesn't get wet. Because as you can imagine, um, we don't want wet coffee. So here is his home, um, and he is just uh, raking this out right in front of his home, and I'm gonna go ahead and show you uh, where his actual coffee field is. It is behind me on this mountain, and um, you plant coffee in the shade, and um, it's also on the other side of this mountain, he has some fields, so. Uh, yeah, there's a glimpse into a coffee coffee farm in the mountains of uh, Western Honduras. Okay, hey guys, I'm here inside the sour soon to be home where they're storing the coffee. So Russell, tell us, where did this coffee come from? So this coffee came from the farm. Um, hey, RJ. Thank you, RJ. Um, we have right here, you want to climb there? Okay, there we go. You guys can see RJ too. Um, 
We have here uh, about 40 100 pound sacks of coffee off of our farm. It has been depulped and dried and it's um, actually just waiting to be sold right now. We're actually storing it um, until coffee prices come up, which they will uh, hopefully mid-January. So come mid-January, we're going to be um, selling most of this. Some of this we will actually be sending to the roaster to get roasted and send back to the States with teams for you guys to enjoy.